레이 눈치 보면서 들어가 할때 찾아 나머진 바빠 계속 레이 바꾸 It's Jodie and welcome to a new reading vlog. So today is Tuesday so I have this week off work and I'm planning to film like a weekend reading vlog towards the end of the week so this vlog is probably going to be quite short it's only going to be four days long but figured I'd still do it it's kind of like a weekly reading vlog of sorts if that makes sense. So yeah today's Tuesday it's currently 12 so half the day's gone but I've spent this morning editing my journaling video I'm putting on my Patreon so I just need to do the voiceover and edit that so I've started to use my reading journal again I'm very excited so I finally caught up with sticking in all the books that I've currently read this year and then I did my August spread and I've like I said on a video setting up all of my August spreads for my Patreon so if you want to see that you can head there and I'm really happy with how it turned out so yes I've been doing that and editing that video and then I've been watching Jan's videos this morning. I just watched her most recent vlog and then I just got carried away and ended up binging a bunch of them. So I'll link her channel down below if you want to check it out. I really enjoy her vlogs. They're just so fun. It feels like FaceTiming with a friend. Like I can't explain it but they're just such fun vlogs and yeah I really like her content so I will link her channel down below so I've pretty much just been doing that all morning and not much else really but anyways let's get into my reading plans for the week I have listened to a little bit of an audio book this morning which is this one here so I do need to adjust my bookmark so I'm currently on page 257 of City of Fallen Angels which is the fourth book in the Mortal Instrument series I listened to this on audio and I'm generally not really enjoying it I only really like Alec and Magnus in this series Isabel's okay but besides that I mostly just like those characters I cannot stand Clary and Jace I don't care for them or their relationship or them as characters they just kind of annoy me and Simon as well just really grates on me so I'm just not a big fan of the characters which is why I think I don't enjoy this as much as I could I have read the first book like several times and I enjoyed it a lot more when I was younger and I do love the show in the movie but yeah it's just not I don't know I love the world and Alec and Magnus like I said but besides that I don't enjoy this series particularly so I'm trying to get through this series because I obviously want to read all of the other books and yeah I've just been meaning to read this for so long so I have around two hours of the audio left so hopefully I can finish it this week and finally tick this off but yeah just not not the best but I know I'm gonna love like the other series so I just need to persevere with these ones and I need to desperately read My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey I'm filming a Patreon vlog for this and this was last month's buddy read I'm just not enjoying it at all it's just a disappointment to me I really enjoyed Tessa Bailey's other books I've read three of her books so far and I really enjoyed all of those but this one is not doing it for me the romance side of it I'm just not liking but I feel like 
the murder mystery element will save it, I hope. So yeah, this is a murder mystery thriller romance essentially, which is why I'm so disappointed because they're like two of my favourite things together. I'm just not loving it. I do not like the love interest one bit. I just do not like him. So that's why I'm struggling with this. But yeah, I'm currently on page 90, which is chapter 8. So I really do need to make progress with this as soon as possible. I just want it done with. And then I'm also currently reading Escaping from Houdini. I recently started this during a 24-hour readathon. I will link the vlog up here if you guys want to check it out. I had so much fun during that vlog because I did like a spooky autumnal themed kind of readathon. It was so fun. As you can probably tell by my ghosty behind me, I am just so ready for autumn and for spooky season. It is the 2nd of August, by the way, at the moment. It literally felt like autumn. I got woke up at like... 4am this morning by rain hammering on the window and it's been raining all day it's super gloomy and it's starting to get a bit colder so it's definitely feeling a bit more autumnal so yes those are the vibes from now on on my channel goodbye summer hello autumn I don't care if it's still technically summer it's autumn to me <laughs> so anyways back to my point of this go and check out the vlog it was really really fun I really liked it um but I did start this and I'm currently on page 95 so i'm on chapter 9 and i'm really enjoying this i have actually tapped quite a lot of this already i just really love kerry maniscalco's writing in this series she writes very atmospheric almost kind of lyrical things in here which i just adore i love thomas cresswell he's just so cheeky and so funny and i love the dynamic between him and audrey rose and i am just so excited to read like the mystery in here and basically at the moment there's a series of murders happening on this ship that they're on and there's also this weird like kind of carnival thing every night and they are basically stuck on this ship in the middle of the ocean and there's a killer on board killing people so it's kind of tense but it's really fun and i'm really enjoying it so far so yeah i'm excited to read some more of this i don't know for sure if i'll finish it this week i mean i'd like to but we shall see um but yeah i'm almost 100 pages into this one and then the other book that i really want to read this week is law of olympus volume 2 i recently got this from a lumicrate i love the first volume it wasn't like my absolute favorite and i definitely think it could be better but i did enjoy it enough that i'm very excited for volume 2 i just love persephone and hades they're my favorite like a greek myth couple i just draw them so i'm excited to see what happens in this volume and hopefully i do get to it later this week and i do have a package to open that is from my wonderful friend caitlin i believe so i think this is like a birthday present she got me like last year but it was like a pre-order thing from this artist that we both love but the postman delivered it this morning so i'm really excited let me just put the scissors down before i stab myself oh okay this is a cute little postcard with a quote on <laughs> oh thank you so much caitlin thank you and she put in this gorgeous print which i think is from blood and ash which is so beautiful I'm definitely putting this on my wall and this as well so thank you caitlin well basically there's this artist that we both love called abigail larson who does like a really cool spooky artwork i have her tarot card set and like i just adore her artwork and she did like i think it was like a kickstarter or something along those lines um and you could like pre-order like a collection of all her artwork in like a book and i was like oh my gosh like this is so amazing and then last year i think it was or was it this march i think it was last march oh i can't remember honestly it could have been this march or maybe it was last march i can't remember but caitlin surprised me and sent me like this really cute card and said she'd pre-ordered this for me for my birthday and yes here it is look how beautiful it is i love it and this is what it looks like it has this gorgeous red foiling and on the back is this red rose and it has black spray edges oh, it's so beautiful look at this so here is the opening page so yeah it just has like all of this beautiful art in it that she has done like i i'm just obsessed i love this and yep thank you so much caitlin 
for this wonderful gift i will treasure it forever and i honestly i'm obsessed with it like i love it so much so yes thank you caitlin um but yeah that is like my little bit of book mail i guess to show you guys i am debating going for a little walk to the coffee shop slash bookstore or maybe going to my library like my childhood library i haven't been there in well over 10 years so it would be kind of fun to go there and like see what it's like and stuff but i don't know whether to do that i also don't know whether to film like a separate video for that i'm not sure yet so i'm toying with the idea of both of those things because i just get like i don't know like i can sit and chill and read at home but i get distracted very easily and i feel like if i go and sit in a coffee shop like i'm more likely just to sit and read and like actually do something productive so i might do that i don't know we'll see um but yeah welcome to another little vlog i hope you guys enjoy and i will catch up with you guys soon
back from being out i basically ended up going to my childhood library which was really fun i literally haven't been there in like over 10 years and it has changed a lot obviously it would have but i mean it used to be like two floors and the building itself is huge it's a great big one i believe the queen actually came and opened it up back in the day because it was like a huge deal and it was this big grand library and when i was a kid it was like heaven it was just amazing there were like rows and rows of shelves the children's section and teen section was huge it was like half of one floor and when i mean big like it was really really big and there were like two floors so you had all of like kids and teen and i don't know whatever else up there and then you had like fiction and other like stuff downstairs and then there was a room where like kids couldn't go in as well so i assume that was like the reference room now most of the building is closed off there's one floor of books which is downstairs and even that is very small and the shelves are pretty much half empty like they could be half the size they are which is just really really sad i mean the teen section was about three shelves there's not really anything that decent there and kids was really really small as well there was like a romance section but it wasn't really romance it was like romance books from like the 80s and then there was like quite a big crime thriller section um but they only had like three stephen king novels for example when obviously stephen king has written many and things like that the sci-fi fantasy was very small very very outdated as well and it just made me so sad and like i know people don't use libraries as much anymore like because maybe they have access to stuff on the internet or whatever for whatever reason maybe people just don't use them as much i mean i didn't use my library a ton when i was younger it was just more of a place to go and flick through the books and then i'd usually like go to waterstones and buy them like every week i used to go and pick out a new book um i mean don't get me wrong i did take books out of the library but i also bought books so i've kind of always done that but I just, for the most part, never really have a need to use the library or the books that I want to check out they don't have, which is really, really annoying. They only ever seem to have the things that I already own or just I'm not interested in. So I get, like, obviously that now maybe a lot of people are in the same boat and they don't necessarily need a library, but it is really, really sad to see, like, the lack of funding in libraries because libraries for so many people are, like, a lifeline you know books are a form of escapism and not everyone can afford to buy books and for so many people that will be you know a safe haven um it gives them access to books and education and so many other things and it just made me realize like how important libraries are and how sad it is i guess i, I don't know if libraries necessarily fall under like the arts but things like that and like books and like music and theater are so neglected by our government and i think they are so important because they're an outlet for so many people for so many reasons and yeah it's so sad to actually witness how little funding they're receiving and obviously just like you know how downsized the library is i mean don't get me wrong there's still a lot of people in there which was nice to see but it just made me really sad considering that when i was a child it had all of these flaws and so many books and over the years it's just dwindled down and yeah it's just really really sad so I am going to go through my shelves at some point this week and I'm going to try and donate a bunch of books. I did inquire about it a while ago and they have this weird rule where it has to be within the past two years that it's come out and it has to be brand new. So it kind of does limit like what you can donate which I think is a shame because I have so many things that are over the two year mark that are either brand new or pretty much brand new that I don't think the library has but for some reason they can't accept which is kind of sad so I would love to find a way of doing one of those free little libraries somewhere as well but I just don't think where I live is necessarily the right place and I don't know how you go about setting that up if you have to have permission from the council and that sort of thing but I would like to look into doing that but yeah I'm gonna go and try and donate some books there later this week and hopefully they can take them um I know this is a big long rant about libraries but it's just something I was thinking about and obviously with me being like a book channel I guess some of you guys might be like interested in what I had to say so yeah I am gonna try and donate some books and yeah they don't really have anything I would take out to be honest and there's not really that many reading spaces there but I'm going to still try and make a point of going every so often, although it is a very long walk for me. I may not have got a lot of reading done today, but I certainly got a lot of walking done and I am exhausted. 
so so tired it was such a long walk um and then i popped into town and i went to tk maxx i got another candle <laughs> because the halloween range i can't not look at this this is probably my most favorite candle i've ever bought in my life and i kind of wish i'd bought two because i love it that much and it's two of my favorite scents ever which is vanilla and sandalwood so this is what it looks like but look at the lid like i'm sorry but are you seeing this this is beauty this is art this is everything i am obsessed i love it and it smells divine like mm. yep love it so much i'm so happy that i got this it was kind of pricey but i'm just happy that i have it so yeah i did treat myself to a candle and then i also treated myself to a cup of tea and some reading time so i didn't do loads of reading but i did do some so i only read some of escaping from houdini and i'm now on page 123 so i'm on chapter 12 so i didn't read a lot but i read like a couple of chapters so i'm happy with that and i am enjoying it so far although i am slightly worried about where part of the story is going like i don't like this direction if the author is going to do what i think she may do i do not want to entertain that idea so i'm kind of worried especially the review i'd seen previously of a specific character not having as big as a role in this this is making it seem very possible and i don't want it to go in this direction so i guess we'll see but i am obviously still going to read it um but yeah that's my only reading update and that's what i've been doing today so it's really really fun just to walk to the library and going to town but i'm really really like tired now because it's very warm out and the walk like i said was so long i had to get shopping and i walked all the way home with it which you know big world problems i know but still it was tiring okay i know it's not the end of the world and it's not the worst thing in the world but i'm not being dramatic it was just an exhausting like trip so yes my back does hurt from carrying the bags and i'm tired from the heat and also a bit dehydrated so <laughs> i'm gonna drink this bottle of water and then i think i'm going to import the footage from this vlog so far edit a little bit relax for a bit and then i will get back to potentially doing some reading i think i might watch some more booktube as well because i'm getting really back into booktube which is fun um but yeah that's all like my updates and stuff let me know in the comments whether or not you guys use your library or if you've noticed the same thing happening to your libraries as well I'd be really really interested to know I know there's a couple of booktubers who work in libraries so I'd definitely be interested in hearing like their opinion as well and I may reach out to some of them to see like what they'd recommend doing if there's anything specifically that I can do to help libraries like locally yeah I'd be interested to know what it's like in other areas and even in other countries as well so yeah let me know in the comments your thoughts and stuff um I just think it's quite an interesting conversation to have like in the book community so yes anyways that's my like a really long update tangent thing i'm gonna go i really do need to drink this and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit
Okay, so I'm reading some more of Escaping from Houdini, and when I say more, I literally like a few pages. So I'm page 126, and I'm so frustrated with the main character. So basically, Audrey Rose is an incredibly smart young woman. She is very smart. She like is able to like see through the bullshit kind of person almost. Like she's just very intelligent. She's good at like thinking things through. All of that has been thrown out the window. She is just making so many stupid decisions and I just, like someone that clever surely can see through the manipulation. Like she's being manipulated and she kind of knows that she is, but like how is she not like, I don't know, like what she's just done is really annoyed me. <laughs> like it's just out of character and just so stupid and it's just annoyed me. Like because it makes her look stupid. Yeah, it's really frustrating. <laughs> so today is wednesday and i don't really have any reading updates to be honest i've literally spent pretty much all day watching booktube cleaning the house and i also put another toner on my hat as well so i have been productive i just have not been productive when it comes to reading so yes <laughs> so i do have a big mug of tea and I'm just watching some more booktube at the moment, but then I'm hoping to sit down and read. So I'm trying to decide what to read because I'm definitely in the mood to read more of Escaping from Houdini. But I also obviously need to read this. But then I also don't know if I'm definitely in the mood to read it at the same time, which makes no sense. But yeah, I'm on page 140 of this at the moment. So I do need to read these, but then I also kind of want to read this. And then I also want to kind of start a romance on my Kindle, so I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to start a romance, and I know I shouldn't start another book, but I'm feeling, like, in the mood for a romance, and yeah, maybe I will do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, like, figure out what I want to read, but first I'm going to finish watching this YouTube video, then I will start reading something, and hopefully come back to you guys with an update very soon. So I'm now on page 170, which is chapter 16 of Escaping from Houdini. So yeah, I want to get at least to 200 pages today, but we'll see. Maybe I'll read more. Maybe I won't read that at all. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I am really, really enjoying it. I do feel a little bored at times, and I think as well it's because I'm missing a certain character. So this character is in this story but they're not as prevalent in this one. So, yes. Like, I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's very centred upon one person, and as much as I love that person, it's just, like, 
I don't know. It's not the same. Uh, but I am enjoying it. The murder that just happened in here was so unbelievably horrific. Definitely the worst one so far. And it was disgusting. But yeah, I am really, really intrigued to see, like, who is behind it. I mean, I have my suspicions as to who it is already. And I'm curious to see if I'm right. But, yeah. Anyways, that's my update. Still enjoying it. Still a fun time. Um, so, like I said, I do want to read at least another 30 pages of this and then i'll probably move on to read some more of my killer vacation but i'm gonna go and make some dinner because it's what time is it it's currently 20 to 8 already so yeah i'm gonna go make some dinner and then after that i will come back into the library and get some more reading done so yeah we'll catch up with you guys later So it's much later in the evening now. It's half past 10 and I'm getting very, very tired. But I'm now on page 222 of Escape from Houdini, which is chapter 21. So I've literally just passed the halfway mark. So I'm really happy that I've reached that point. That was like my goal for the day. So I'm hoping to read a lot more of this tomorrow. I would like to finish this book before the weekend. So I have two days to do that so hopefully it's doable but I am gonna be popping out over the next few days so we'll see if I have time but yes I'm really really enjoying it Audrey Rose I am finding her very annoying in this book though like I still like her but she is just doing things that I just think are so stupid and kind of out of character for her like she's just her own worst enemy and I don't know I'm finding her actions very frustrating in this book and yeah i don't like what's going on like what the author's trying to do it's one of my least favorite tropes so yeah i don't like that direction my camera's about to die i'm just gonna switch out the battery and i'll be right back so yes what i was saying was i just don't like what's happening i don't want to say the trope and it's not necessarily that trope it's kind of going towards it because it's a spoiler but i don't like it <laughs> and it's really annoying me and yeah, I'm just like finding some of the things she's doing annoying. But yeah, it's still interesting. It's still fun. Definitely not my favourite. I definitely prefer the first two in comparison to this one. I know I'm only halfway, but just like even the storyline is interesting and stuff. But I'm not like as bothered about finding out who the murderer is or the murder mystery, which is kind of the point of the story. I'm not saying this is bad. Like it's still a really enjoyable book, but I'm just not enjoying it as much as the first two. I'm not finding it as thrilling and I don't like... The direction that this has gone in with some of the characters but i have faith that it will all be fine at the end of the book but yeah anyway that's my update so i'm halfway through that like i said it's pretty late and i'm really really tired so i think i'm gonna get into bed and read a tiny bit of my killer vacation <sighs> even if it's literally just a couple of pages any progress is progress that makes no sense but you get what i mean um so yes i really do need to read this i just don't want to it's so annoying i might end up really liking it i keep telling myself that i'm trying to speak it into existence i'm trying to manifest it but at the moment the universe is saying no so we shall see um so yeah i'm still on page 90 so maybe i will try and read to like page 100 and then i will feel good that i've like made it into the hundreds i guess i really need to read a chapter which is about like 10 pages to be at the 100 page mark and obviously on to the next chapter so i'm gonna try and do that and then i'm gonna sleep because like i said i'm really really tired um and i've also been editing i've edited like a lot of this vlog as well so i'm feeling quite accomplished which is nice but yes i do want to get some things done tomorrow i might head over to the city and maybe go to like the library there and read because there's like a really nice reading room there or i might just go to like a coffee shop or something i'm not too sure but i might head over just to like get out of the house because um i'm off work for another four days at the bookshop that is i mean i have been off work for like nearly just under two weeks i had off 
and I've spent like nearly every single day except for the day I dyed my hair doing YouTube and Patreon stuff so I've literally been non-stop staring at a camera or a screen and yeah I have been out like the odd day and stuff but it would be nice to spend like a full day out the house kind of just relaxing and reading even if I'm filming b-roll like that's fine but yeah it would be nice just to have a kind of day off ish like you know what I mean like just a day to have fun so yeah I want to make the most of like my last few days because I'm going to be working a lot in the bookstore next week when I go back to work and then we're also like moving into a new store as well which is going to be like a lot of work so I'll be very busy with that throughout August so yeah um, it's going to be a busy time in the next week so I'm trying to make the most of my remaining days off and just have fun hopefully I can film a few more videos as well but yeah anyways that's like a whole different conversation i don't know i'm talking about that now but yeah like i said might go out tomorrow we'll bring you guys with me if i do but i guess i will chat to you guys in the morning i don't know if i'll have any reading updates but yes i will catch up with you guys then but yeah i'm gonna try and get up really early tomorrow like make the most of the day and have like a productive start and an early start i love being up really early in the morning like i don't know what it is but I do get up very early, like, when I'm working and stuff anyways. Like, I usually get up about 5.30. So, even when I sleep in to, like, half seven, eight, I feel like I've slept in and I've wasted the day. Even though, like, I haven't. It's a really weird thing I've got into my head. But, yeah, I might get up at, like, six tomorrow. And try and have, like, an early start. Get ready and stuff. And then be out the door quite early. Which would be nice. So, I think I might do that. And I think I might try and do some reading sprints tomorrow as well it would just be really nice to do some um that are like nice and chill in the evening if I come back at a decent time so yes that's my plans at the moment I am gonna go to sleep now and stop waffling on <laughs> to you guys and yeah I will chat to you guys tomorrow okay hi guys so today is Thursday and it is currently 3 p.m so as you can tell I did not get up at 6 a.m like I said I was going to yesterday so yes i did end up having a bit of a lie-in i was just really really tired i didn't get to bed until super late last night and i was just kind of like tossing and turning all night so i just slept in it's fine i also didn't do any more reading last night so i didn't read any of my color vacation or any more of escaping from houdini i was just like really exhausted and i had to like tidy up a bit and things like that before i went to sleep so yes i didn't end up doing any of those things i am just waiting for some food to cook and then i think I might walk to a coffee shop the only thing is it closes at five and by the time I've eaten and walked there I will have probably only an hour there which is kind of like I don't know is there any point like going and I won't stay there either until like five when they close because obviously people have got places to be they want to get home so I'd obviously end up leaving before five so I don't know what to do or I could walk to town but it's such a long and grim walk and the coffee shops aren't as nice in town so i don't know i don't know i don't know but i again don't want to be stuck in today i do want to get out a bit so i was going to go to the library and donate some books but i've just contacted them to see if there's any chance they take like books that are over the two year mark because they have this weird rule where they've got to be like published within the last two years and it's like i get it but their teen section is so small like I could give them so many more books to like put in there so I'm just waiting for them to reply and then when I got the stack together I realised how heavy it would be so I think I might wait until I have the car to take them. So yeah I'm not going to do that today but yeah I'm trying to debate where to go. I think tomorrow I'm definitely getting up early. I'm going to the city for the day and I'm going to have like a nice day out but yeah I don't know exactly what to do today but I definitely do want to get some reading done today. I'm in the reading mood and I just I want to finish a book like I need to get a book finished today so that's the plan i don't know what book it will be but i'm also going to do some planning i think for like videos and stuff today and yeah just like do those kinds of things so yeah i'm gonna go and get my lunch and then i will catch up with you guys probably later this evening hopefully with a reading update but yeah that's it for now okay hey guys so i <laughs> don't have any reading updates i know bad but I do have some things to show you so I've got a little haul so I did end up going out into town and I just took some things back and then I didn't actually get any 
time to like, sit and read anyway. But I did get some more spooky candles because I can't resist. I have no self-control apparently when it comes to candles and yes, this is becoming an obsession. To be honest, I was already obsessed but it's gone to a whole new level. I cannot be stopped. I really can't but these do smell incredible especially this one. Oh, this smells like it just smells like autumn like i know that's very vague and everyone says that but this really does smell like autumn like exactly like autumn i love it um and this was only 5.99 which isn't too bad um and it says midnight magic mysterious palm reading spiced pumpkin candle so yes i do like this and it does kind of vibe with my current read so yeah love this one and then i got this one and i just love this because it says spooky and then underneath it says ghostly in a way that causes fear and unease so yeah i really like this one this one was 6.99 and this one it smells autumnal but like a nice fresh smell not necessarily like a pumpkiny spicy kind of smell it says opium and oud scented candle whatever that means but oh i love the smell of this this is like a nice fresh smell for autumn but it does still smell autumnal but i love it and i just love how it looks and then this one the main reason i bought it is because of the book i'm reading at the moment so obviously i'm reading escape from houdini and in there there's like a bunch of murders and the murderer is using tarot cards for their murders and there's like loads of tarot cards being used by the carnival on the ship and there's constant talk of tarot so yeah because of that i decided to get this candle because look at the lid like how gorgeous is that so yes this is what it looks like here it's a really beautiful blue color and i just love the lid and i just thought well this is perfect to burn alongside reading that book like this was made for that book you cannot convince me otherwise like it literally is perfect and it's called mystical nights your future is written in the stars and in the book something very similar is said by the carnival person so it's just so like my current read i just had to and this one it doesn't smell very autumnal it just has a really nice scent like a very calming smell oh i just really like it this one was a bit expensive this was 10.99 but it is very big so it's not too bad but yes so that is my awesome candle haul <laughs> so we have those and then i did pick a book up as well that i'd reserved um so it's called these shallow graves and this is by jennifer donnelly now i actually believe this came out a few years ago but i recently came across it and apparently it's very similar to like stalking jack the ripper and i'm so excited for it. it's set in new york in the 1800s it says a wealthy family a deadly secret a girl with more to lose than she knows murder morgues asylums dirty secrets and a slow burning romance in this epic historical thriller so it sounds very very similar to the stock and jack the ripper series very very excited i love murder mystery and a romance together set in the victorian era yes please so i cannot wait to read this i'm definitely going to be reading this as part of like my autumn kind of tbr and yeah like i'm so excited this is also ya as well so that's fun but yeah, I'm very, very excited to read this book. So that is my little haul. I did get some more highlighters. So me and Jamie quickly popped to Tesco and I did get this pack. So these were £12, which I think is a pretty good price for this many because I think it's a little bit more expensive for this on Amazon. Basically, I was looking for this big box they were selling in Tesco. It was like £10 and you got like the mild liners and some like pens and stuff in. But unfortunately, it didn't have it. So... I saw this and I got this because I do have some mad liners already but I only have like four or five colours and I wanted some of the other shades that they do so yeah I'm happy that like I now have lots of different ones for annotating and I really do like using these so I thought this was like a really really good deal so yeah this is from Tesco and then I bought some scones cream and jam because I'm in the mood for a scone and a cup of tea so I will probably have one of those later or tomorrow it's quite late it's like half nine ten at the moment but I'm not feeling like too tired so I'm gonna grab my book I'm gonna make a cup of tea and then I'm gonna sit in the front room maybe put on like a cozy ASMR room and just try and do a little bit of reading I should be reading more of my color vacation but I just want to read Escape from Houdini so I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so yes, that's my very long non-reading update, but I had to show the candles. I had to because they are 
gorgeous and i'm just living for all of the spooky autumn stuff in the shops in august like it makes my heart so happy so yeah i'm gonna go and make a broom now anyway so i will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow and tomorrow is probably gonna be the last day of this vlog so i'm hoping to make a lot of progress on my current reads but like i said i'm gonna try and go out for the day tomorrow i will hopefully just be going to a coffee shop for most of the day and i have like a couple of stores i do want to go to so that's my plans for tomorrow so i will probably start my other vlog tomorrow so i will probably just maybe catch up with you guys in the morning or like before i go out and then end this vlog and then i will start my new vlog when i go out tomorrow so yeah that's the plans anyways we'll see if i can get any reading done between now and then but i will catch up with you guys tomorrow okay hi guys so i'm just here to wrap up this vlog because i want to start my weekend reading vlog now so yeah i didn't finish any books in this vlog which isn't great because i think that's been the case of the last two vlogs but it's fine personally it's been a stressful and kind of overwhelming time so yeah i just haven't really been able to focus and read a lot but i've still enjoyed like the reading week and like actually reading anyway even if i didn't finish anything um so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog even though i didn't finish a book i always feel like really bad whenever i do a vlog and i don't finish anything i just feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of doing the vlog which i know is really stupid because this makes it like more realistic as well like in terms of what i actually read throughout a week so yeah i guess there's that but i just always feel really guilty for not finishing a book but anyways yeah i didn't finish anything but it's fine i've made progress on some books not others <laughs> but i'm planning to finish all of the books during my weekend reading vlog so you guys will see that very very soon but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog anyways let me know in the comments what you've been reading recently if you have read or are reading any of the books i've mentioned in this vlog especially your thoughts on my killer vacation if you've read that book please let me know what you thought of it because i just don't really know if i'm gonna love that book to be honest because i'm not at the moment and i did originally see like loads of four and five star reviews for it but then recently now i've seen a few more people rate it quite low so i'm curious to see what the general consensus is of this book because yeah i feel like i'm probably going to give it a low rating but i'm not sure um but yeah let me know your thoughts down below if you have read it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i will link anything i've mentioned in the comments and i will link all of the books i've mentioned as well i will also leave a link to my patreon and that's where you're going to find extra reading vlogs live shows a monthly buddy read a discord a monthly readathon and lots of other things it's all happening over on my patreon so yeah if you'd like to join us there then please feel free to check out the link down below but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one bye